All right, test five, lesson two, worksheet. One. All right, so one through four, you're just proving if the triangles are similar or not. Okay, if they are, they want you to write the similarity statement. Okay, so we're going to look first. Uh, you do know that you can mark your congruent angles here in the middle. So we've got that angle. And then because you have your parallel sides, you can give me this angle and this angle. So we do now have angle angle similarity. So we are going to name our triangles. So it's going to be triangle, we'll say FGH. It's going to be similar to KJH. And that is by angle angle similarity. All right, number two. Actually, let's jump to number three. Number three here. Okay, so you've got the parallel lines are here. So we know that this angle is congruent to this angle. Okay, you do know that angle A is going to be congruent to itself. So again, you're breaking these apart into two different triangles. All right, so like you've got three, three, this angle and this angle. And then you've got this angle, this angle. Now this whole side over here is going to be five plus three, which is going to give me eight and eight. All right, so you do have your angles. So you could do either angle angle similarity or you can look in your ratios are the same. Three over eight is going to equal three over eight. So you could do angle angle or uh, side, side, uh, side angle side on that one. Okay. Um, so now we got to name it. Let's go triangle uh, PAJ is going to be similar to triangle BAC. And again, you could use either angle angle similarity or side angle side similarity. You don't have to have both. Either one will work. All right, so then that leaves you two and four in that section. All right, number five is asking you, are two isosceles triangles always similar? Okay, so remember, in order for them to be similar, it's got to be all three sides or um, angle angle or side angle side. Um, they are not because your angles may not be congruent. In other words, you could have two isosceles triangles and these angles could be 60 and 60. These can still be isosceles and this angle could be 70 and 70. It doesn't make them similar. So the answer is no. The angles may not be congruent. And are two isosceles right triangles always similar? Um, I'll let y'all think on that one uh, and see what you got for your justification there. All right, 7 through 11 is our ratio problem. So like for number 7, you're going to start by setting up your ratio. So like I know this right here is 70, okay, because that makes that linear pair there in the middle. So now I can set up my ratios. So for instance, x is going to be proportional with 5, okay. If I do the small triangle, which will be 3, it's going to be proportional with that same side of the large triangle, which is actually going to be 3 plus 3, which is 6. So I'm going to cross multiply and get 6x is equal to 15. And that gives me 2.5, or you can reduce that down to... Uh, Five over two. All right, let's jump over here to number nine. Okay, so again, same thing. X is this side, so that's going to be related to the whole side here, which would be X plus 7.5. And then that would be 12 and 18. So you're going to cross multiply here, which is going to give me 18X is going to equal to 12 times x plus 7.5. So be careful here because whenever you simplify that out, you do have variables on both sides. So you do have to solve that out there. Make sure you move your 12x, which is going to give me 6x equals to 90, and divide to get your x there. All right, um, let's see. 
So for 11, you already have that angle angle there, so you can set up your ratio um, there as well. Okay, right there, make sure, okay, somebody asked me about this, make sure 5 feet 3 inches that you don't put 5.3, that means 3 inches out of 12 inches, so that's actually 5.25, 3 inches is 1 quarter of a foot, so it'd be 5.25 that goes in there on your ratio, so if you're setting that up, it's going to be 5.25 over X, it's going to equal to 5 over 15, okay. All right, and then I'm going to jump down so y'all can finish out that one. And then I'm going to jump down to number 12. They want you to classify RSTW. Um, and must any of the triangles be shown? And they want you to explain. Okay, uh, the type of figure that RSTW is. Anybody know what figure RSTW is? It's a trapezoid. Okay, so then if we have those parallel lines there, then you can give me that basically um, if I cut this transversal, you can have these two angles, and if I cut the other transversal, you can have these two angles. And then that's basically going to make these angles the same as well to each other. So you can tell me that triangle, what's that top triangle going to be? R, R, S, Z, right here. Okay, that one's going to be similar to the bottom triangle. Okay, so if I started with the one, then that's going to be uh, T, W, Z. So you can do that. And that, again, is because we have those two angles, so that's going to be by angle, angle. All right, so that leaves you with numbers uh, two and four to do. Six, eight, ten, you got to finish 11. Okay. You do have a quiz tomorrow on lesson one, which is just our similarity statements in general.